going on YouTube Lost Gamer 8519. Um, I am dressed in all my UGA gear because all the stuff that I got uh, was when I was down in Georgia for uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, we was down there for my girlfriend's birthday. She wanted to go down and see her parents and spend her birthday down there, which you know, I had no, no problem doing. Um, we had a great time down there, which um, is awesome. She had fun. And of course, I had to make my way to the flea market down there. It's been uh, a long time since I went. I think the last time I went was uh, a year or two ago in the summertime. So um, I just thought I'd go out this time and I found some decent stuff but a uh, majority of this stuff actually came from a retail store so um, let me go ahead and get into it and stop talking and this video will not be too long flea market stuff first I actually didn't find that much stuff uh, this time around I actually went a little late um, I woke up a little late and I ended up going around like 11 or 12 so a lot of the sellers are basically just um, packing up or they were getting ready to just end the day and um, I came across a few sales first I found a um, OG Xbox controller this is the big fat one the Duke uh, this was only two bucks it was dirty as hell it's still dirty as hell I haven't had a chance to clean it yet but um it is in working condition at least I did test it but I just have to clean it so happy to have the, uh, the Duke in my collection I uh, picked up a copy of Burnout Revenge uh, this was two bucks I didn't have this and um, I really enjoy the Burnout series uh, especially these, uh, the, the Revenge and Takedown. Um, Burnout Paradise wasn't so great. I played it, but I didn't really like it that much. But um, these was all about the crashes and uh, car damage and taking other people out. So I really thought this was fun. So happy to get that back. Uh, this set of PlayStation games, um, I actually caught a seller. He was just about to uh, leave. He was packing his stuff off his table, and I happened to see a uh, box PS1 sitting in the back of his truck so I asked him how much he wanted for the PS1 he said he wanted 25 since it was boxed and um, I didn't get it because obviously that's way too much uh, for me anyway so I ended up asking him if he had any games he bought out some uh, some games that he had like that stashed away in like an old CD case that holds the jewel cases too so I went through it picked up uh, seven games we came to the deal of $30 for these games. I may have paid a little bit more than I wanted to. I might have overpaid just a little bit, but it's all good. Most of these titles um, I wanted. Excuse me, I take the back. Six games, not seven. Anyways, uh, first, Rayman Rush. Haven't played that. All these games are complete and actually in very good condition. Uh, the discs are in really good shape. Uh, Thrasher, that's a skate. Skate and Destroy. I just picked this up because it's a Rockstar title. Um, Skate one games are pretty fun to me, so I never played this one, so I thought I'd give this one a try. Kickboxing. I need to replace the case on this, but it's all good. Um, this looks pretty fun too. Kickboxing game. Twisted Metal 4. I actually have not played Twisted Metal 4. I played 1, 2, and 3. Haven't got to this one yet, so very happy to get it. I will definitely give this a try. This one I just threw in there, Army Men 3D. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this just yet, but um, I haven't played many Army Men games. I've played a few, but um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. And the uh, highlight of that deal was uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Uh, very happy to get this one. I have this on the, uh, the GBA, so having it on the PlayStation is, um, is a nice touch. Uh, this game he wanted he actually wanted 15 for this and um, I just asked him will he just you know sell his games um, or bundle up the games that I want and he'll throw this in there he said uh, I'll do 30 for everything that's a good deal because this game is like $20 he said according to eBay that he looks up he looks up all his games on eBay so um $30 for some PS1 games not too shabby very happy to get Street Fighter Alpha. Um, later on, I went just browsing some more, and I really didn't see that much gaming stuff down in uh, Georgia this time around. But then again, I did go pretty late. But I'm I'm just surprised that I found something. So um, this was this caught my eye. Uh, Bushido Blade 2. Um, it was from a seller that was selling nothing but video games. So obviously. 
that person was a reseller, but this was stashed away in a bunch of like um, sports games, uh, PS1 games, that were, like, all sports games, trivia games, uh, just all around shit dollar titles, and this happened to be in there. I just asked him, will you do five for it? He said, sure. So there you have it. There's a shit ton of stickers on this thing. I'll just probably replace the case. Um, that'll probably be the easier, easier way of going about that. But Bushido Blade 2, have not played this yet. Look, looking forward to playing it. 3D Fighter. Like, you never turn down some fighting games. I love fighting games. Okay, um, to the other stuff, the majority of the stuff, like I said, from a retail store. Um, the last time I went down to Georgia, uh, in Athens anyway, I didn't know there was a second in Charles there. I don't think there was a second in Charles store there, from what I remember. But this time around, we was driving, me and my girlfriend was driving, we was doing some errands uh, for her parents, and um, we drove by it, and I was like, is that a second in Charles over there? She's like, uh, I think so. So we stopped by, um, I went on a, uh, on a Friday, and I picked up a few games that day, it was like one or two games maybe. But uh, she was rushing me because we had stuff to do, which, you know, I didn't want to take up all the time being in there. So um, I picked up a few games that day, uh, left, and then came back uh, the following day after the flea market. So I, I was by myself that day. So I spent a little bit more time in there, going through everything, being a bit more thorough. So I picked up a good amount of stuff from Second and Charles. So I'm going to start with this stuff first. I picked up a good amount of guides right here and um i blame uh sporadic spacebar for putting me on this hardcover strategy guide kick i'm really wanting to get more of them because they really look nice and um the quality of them is is awesome and they look really good on the shelf and i'm only trying to pick up guides for games that i know i'm going to play or games that i have played um games that i enjoy you know just to have in my collection or games that i know i'm going to use the guides for so came across some um cheap ones this is the only one that I got that wasn't a hardcover. And it's a Final Fantasy VIII tragedy guide that was five bucks. Um, I'm not gonna turn down a uh, RPG strategy guide for uh, less than 10 bucks, well, five bucks. So I thought it was a good deal. I didn't have it. Assassin's Creed Three hardcover guide. This was 10 bucks. thought this was a good deal. I, I personally really enjoyed Assassin's Creed Three. Um, I know a lot of people say they didn't like it. Um, my only gripe about that game was the uh, progression of the story in the beginning was tremendously slow. But other than that, once you get past that aspect, I really enjoyed the game. I thought the game was awesome. Um, I really didn't uh, take the time to find the secrets and you know find find all the hidden items and shit like that. So I thought this was a nice addition. Uh, very nice uh, quality book. It still has the, the map in the back, poster map. So very happy to get this. Continuing on with the guides, I picked up Resident Evil 5 hardcover strategy guide. This was only seven bucks. Um, I personally enjoyed Resident Evil 5. I know some people don't like it. I personally liked it. Um, I played this game a long time ago. Me, me and a buddy of mine uh, stayed up playing basically all night to beat it we, we beat it in um, three, two or three sittings and um very fun game i uh, i remember playing the demo on this and i really enjoyed the demo so when this game came out i was all over it but um again i got the guide for the hidden stuff the secret stuff finding all the shit in the game so this will be in use when i get uh, resident evil back i really need the gold edition i'm looking for Resident Evil Gold Edition, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition uh, for the 360 specifically because that's the system I played it on but um, it came with some uh, calendars pretty cool uh, the last guy, oh this one was actually not from Second and Charles, this is from 5 and Below um, we just went in there because we had to pick up some stuff like just some cups and shit like that and um, I just happened to come across this. It was a uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 limited edition strategy guide. Five bucks. Can't beat that. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5. I love this game. Fantastic game. Um, not everybody loves it, but I do. So uh, definitely had to pick this up. I was debating of getting two of them, but um, 
I didn't feel the need to. That was just me being a hoarder. Uh, my inner hoarder was trying to come out and just buy guides more than one that I don't even need. So I just bought one. I know I will be using this one. So very happy to have that one. That was five bucks. Okay, back to the second and Charles games. The games I picked up there, um, a lot of Xbox games that I don't have. I'm going to add to the collection. Titles I really don't see that much in the Carolinas anyway. So, um, I'm going to just go in whatever order I got this file in. So, first is Cobra Command for the NES. This was four bucks. This is uh, a shooter, a multi directional shooter, I believe. It looks pretty fun. I looked up some footage while I was at the store, so it looks pretty good. Uh, Subterranea. Is that how you say it? Subterranea for the Sega Genesis. Another shooter. This would be my first shooter on the Sega Genesis. Um, it is complete. The uh, cart's a little dirty, but it's all good. Looking forward to trying that out. I need to get more shooters on the Genesis ASAP. Hunter the Reckoning. This was 4.49. I actually enjoyed the Hunter the Hunter games. Um, I love zombie games in general, but um, I think this game is underrated. It, it flies under the radar. Very fun game to me. Plays like uh, like the Gauntlet games, but with zombies and big fucking scary monsters. But uh, I recommend it if you haven't played this game. Very fun game. Uh, Hunter the Reckoning, the Redeemer. Haven't played this one yet. Five bucks. Uh, Iron Phoenix. This was five bucks. I haven't played this yet, I don't think. But uh, exclusive, I didn't have. I thought I had this, but I, apparently I didn't. The Punisher. Uh, I heard good things about this game. Um, I, I heard. Uh, I'm not sure who it was. Somebody said something about this game, about, about this being a good game. I, I remember somebody talking about it, but their name just doesn't come to my head right now. But anyways, um, looks like a very cool game. Uh, I like The Punisher too, so uh, we'll give this a try. Happy to find that. Uh, Siberia 2. I have absolutely no clue on this game. But um, it's mine now. It's in the collection now. I guess I'll give it a little bit more research and maybe I'll um, try it out whenever I get the chance. But like I said, I don't see this. I think that was like two or three bucks anyway. Uh, Pump It Up Exceed. I had this for PlayStation 2. It was incomplete. It was missing the manual. I'm very happy I got the Xbox version instead. Uh, this one is complete. As the manual, this was only like five bucks. And um, I prefer the Pump It Up series over the DDR series. I think the DDR series is shit. Um, the only thing I like about DDR is that the song selections is a little bit better. Not that much, but a little bit better. Um, I just think I've seen so many pe people play DDR in the arcades and they just look fucking retarded. Especially the ones, especially the guys. Or, or girls, wh whoever is fucking playing the game, and they play on the insane mode, and they look like they're fucking tripping off some kind of drug, and they're just like stepping on roaches, and they don't even look like they're dancing. I don't get that shit. But anyways, uh, pump it up. This is my dancing game. The way they have the buttons set up or laid out on on this game is, I think, personally think is a lot better than DDR. Um, I have more fluid dancing movements when I play on this pad, but um, I need the pad. I need to do some research and find the pad. Anyways, enough talking about that shit. My bad. And last is uh, Time Crisis 2 for the PlayStation 2. This was the most expensive game. This was 9 to 10 bucks. I didn't have this in my uh, collection, but um, I normally don't see Time Crisis 2. I see Time Crisis 3 and um, the other one. I forgot the name of the other one, but um, I don't see this one often, so I had to get it. I played this one in arcade a whole a whole lot. Um, this is one of the games that uh, me and my girlfriend really enjoys playing together in the arcade. We beat this game, I don't know how many times in the arcade. So plenty of quarters were spent on this game. So happy to get this back. We will, me and my girlfriend would definitely enjoy playing this. Um, I know she will because this is one of her favorite games. And I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from. All my stuff in Georgia. Uh, I didn't pick up a whole bunch of shit, but I got a good amount of shit that I've been wanting to get. So, um, yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, 
Boss Game Review 519. Please check out my Facebook if you haven't already. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Do your thing that you normally do on videos. And I will catch you on the next video, whatever that may be. Alright, Lost Gamer 8519, I'm gonna sign off. Jib Squad, peace.